Welcome, entrepreneurial update. So, uh, I'm on my way to train one of my clients in uh, Ruskin. And uh, last night I Ubered from 7 p.m. to all the way up to 3 a.m. And so it slept like three hours last night, three and a half hours. Um, and I have two clients this morning. But um, the update would be that I have been more determined and more focused than I've ever been my entire life. So um, things are getting more refined, focusing on getting the new exist package done so I can get that online to have a product to sell. Um, so the next consecutive steps with new exist are refining the product, getting Dr. Bobby to overview it. And uh, because he did, last time I talked to him, he did give me some pointers um, to refine it. He said it was good. He liked it, we made some tweaks, we have to make a couple more tweaks, then it's good. Uh, I have to get Carly to add the nutritional part, uh, which I should be doing next week. And then I talked to Max, and he gave me some great insight for the mental aspects, the visualizations before, the mental exercises to do before the workouts. And so I have to add that uh, today, actually, I'll be doing, or tomorrow, adding that to the program. So uh, the product is almost finished. I have the structure set up though. So entire structure legally and business-wise is there. So at least I have that framework. I just have to refine the product and then it's good. Um, and then redo the website and uh, have a blog and then just push the product through Instagram, Facebook, social media, uh, targeted ads and uh, funnels and just uh, start making some money with it um, and doing uh, obstacle course races. So um, tied in with that is the athletic world where I am working on branding myself as a drug-free athlete, uh, functional athlete, working on getting first place in different obstacle course races and competitions. So uh, more recently, I, um, I have gotten my mile time down to five minutes and I'm pretty sure I could break a five minute mile uh, very soon. And I'm still lifting heavy. So um, I am currently. So I am currently training for the next obstacle course race. Um, it's either going to be a Spartan race or a Savage race. And my goal is to get first place because I've been researching the top obstacle course racers and. The highest paid obstacle course racer, um, Hunter, he is doing similar athletic things as me. So uh, he's running about a five and a mile. Uh, he lifts pretty heavy, but from what I've seen, I actually lift heavier. And I'm running the same mile time. So, and then he's also taller and he weighs a little more than me. So in theory, being 5'11", 180 pounds, being lighter, a little bit shorter, uh, that should be easier because uh, to move around over obstacles and uh, it's more efficient. So in theory, I should be able to sustain pace longer and be uh, a little more mobile. So I think I can start getting first, second place in these races, uh, strive to get sponsored. I get sponsored, then I can do more races. Uh, the more of a following that I build as an athlete, the more that helps me with new exists for credibility and a following. So um, I'm focusing on finally performing as an athlete and pursuing that desire that I have in my heart while finishing my product with new exists. So that's the main focus. On the other side, my other brand, the adventure brand, How to Road Trip America. Uh, that one is progressing as well. The first book is almost finished. It should be done the end of June. I know it keeps getting pushed back, but uh, it's been a lot of refinement. The publisher will email me to uh, add some more details here and there. I'll do that. So it's a back and forth process. That book is almost done. Once that book is done, I have two more books that I'd like to get out as soon as possible. One aimed at Snowbirds in Sarasota. The other aimed at tourists in Florida in general. 
but there's so much potential in this brand because I could literally write a book for every state. I had a road trip uh, Georgia, I had a road trip uh, North Carolina, literally every state. So, um, and then that ties in with other ventures, which I'm sure I've, I've mentioned in the past, but bottom line, progress is slow. I'm scraping by financially, paying for business expenses, and uh, it's working all the time. But I know that one day it's gonna pay off. Um, yesterday, it was very motivating. I caught up with, no, two days ago, I caught up with a friend. I used to work with him at Carabas, and uh, he's a few years older than me, well, six years older than me. And uh, amazing guy, very family oriented. He's always been uh, so humble, such a strong character. And he went from working in the restaurant to working at a car dealership. And then in the past few years, he started uh, some online businesses and now he's a, a multimillionaire. And so I caught up with him yesterday. He gave me a lot of insight, a lot of great information. And it was just so motivating to see someone that I, I've known personally since I was 16. I met him at the YMCA. Uh, it was so motivating to see someone that I've known go from you know, working average jobs, trading time for money, to becoming a multimillionaire and working for himself. So, uh, very motivated to see. And I know I'm so close, so close. It's just a matter of creating a product, creating the platform, and channeling the traffic, the targeted audience, to provide them that value. So, I'm so close. I need to hang in there. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's it.